Do you need a break from Space Marines? If so, and you like the look of these Knights Hospitallers from Infinity by Joy Toy, then you should probably stick around. Shut up and sit down. Hey you skellywags, the Knights Hospitallers may not be as iconic as the Space Marine, but they still get my vote for Poster Child of Infinity. The first thing you'll notice is the presentation and the compact box. Housed inside will be each knight, you get four, and all accessories. Very minimal waste of space. So let's take a look at the base buck, which is across the board the same on all four. There is a nice reflective red for the visor. There is an emblem on each of the pauldrons, pano on there. And so the design idea is that there is a cloth over the upper torso with a front cloth skirting and belt and some uh, chunky legs, which we'll get into in a bit. There's a huge holster attached to the right of the gun. It is a soft plastic for the skirting on the back and the front. So it's a bit malleable and a backpack here. Starting at the top for articulation, the head actually moves from the neck down there. So there's no movement on the actual head part from the neck, from the lower neck. Arm goes all the way around. If you get the shoulder pad to move out of the way a bit, it's a bit soft there. Move out of the way so you can put it up to about there. Single elbow bend. Double ball joint for the wrists, which is just like the Space Marines, just a bit smaller. Movement at upper torso and a little bit for the waist, which is more difficult to get to. So this is a softer plastic here, which won't get in the way too much. Jean-Claude, not so bad considering the chunky legs. What is a Hospitaller? If you look, there's a little peg here, which is probably going to be used for other designs somewhere. Leg goes up. Right there with all this stuff in the way. This one, similar, a bit more, and back there. Twist the thigh. Bend at the knee. If you do it like that, you won't get too much. Do use the double bend though, and you get up to there, which is great for this chunky leg. Little pivot left and right. Down, up. And there is a toe, but I've not been able to move it. So all together you get all the articulation you need, even with these hindered arms. Um, you kind of get over that. It's not as bad as it first initially seems. You can get him into all sorts of poses, even with this soft plastic skirting on the front and back too. See there. You remove this though. I actually took it off a couple of mine, These, this thing. Um, it does leave a bit of a residue on the right part, so it's glued on. But you can remove it and clean it up, etc. if you want. So the knight, without the skirting, unsurprisingly, works better to handle with the legs. You're able to do quite a bit more. It's good that there is still detail underneath. Unfortunately, that um, residue there from the skirting is still there, so I'll have to fix that up at some point if I'm bothered but obviously then the legs can move forwards more on both sides I don't know if in canon these guys can float or fly but in my head canon in universe they can you can easily get them into a double fist I'm gonna fight you kind of stance and pose look quite intimidating and in my cannon, they'll be able to fly in to any situation, like, you know, Iron Man or something like that. Just, yeah. With that backpack thing, however that works. Maybe some gravitational device. Or they can even Superman it in with a double forward arm gesture thing like that. The, shoulder, the shoulders work quite well to push it forward up like that. These guys have actually got pretty good balance as well, or well, better than a Mendoza, even though they're a bit chunkier. And so they can kick up a bit, 
can even balance with one foot. Even with no accessories, these guys are a load of fun to pose. The scabbard is a bit finicky to put onto the knight. This one in particular, the glue has come off. And so that falls off quite a bit without the glue on it. With the torso unattached, the strap I put over the left shoulder pauldron underneath, like that. Center the double ball joint. Have the belt strap on the right side of the bottom part of the torso. And there, actually works quite well like that because it's difficult to get it over uh, the top of the head with that backpack in the way. So let's take a look at the sword. There is some writing here on both sides which says Messio de, which I think is Spanish. You can hold it in his holding hand. You can even uh, double hold it if you push his arms together. It's actually not so bad like that. So you can pose double handed. The pistol I currently have holstered is this one. There are two of these guns with a little bit of that green on the top there. This can hold in any trigger finger hand. So he can have his gun like that, holding his sword. Ready uh, to fight some other factions. This guy I've got wielding this, this rifle. Which also comes with the knock-in. I think it's like a standard issue. You can hold it. I've got him hold it. We're holding it with uh, both trigger fingers. But he can actually shoulder the gun pretty nicely. Like that. Looking down the sights. Just undo that. Pistol you can remove. And there's four of these in the box. You can fit in any of the trigger fingers, left or right. This uh, rifle again is uh, one that also comes with two knocking figures. So this can just go back in this large holster. And then you just put over and put in that hole. Hole is the goal. There. You can probably change this trigger finger hand into a normal holding hand, but I think this trigger finger hand looks okay to hold like this. So he can hold his rifle with both hands like that. And then if I want, I can make him double dual wield. So everyone's got a pistol, either in a holster or holding whatever. But he's got two extra ones that come in the pack. Um, he's a my pistol whipping guy for now at least with his sword. So he's actually a bit different to the other guy we just saw in that his belt. So this bit here actually fell off the glue from undone and I just there's a, there's a tab there that you can put it in and glue it. But I just decided to leave that off this guy. And lastly is this guy. So I also took off his uh, skirting but he's got a uh, he's holding a rifle. This rifle which looks pretty cool. So just like the first guy but without the sword so he's got more range of movement for his legs so there's two of them with the skirting bit and two of them without and he's got this uh, a hand here that can hold the rifle support as for the rest of the accessories also comes with four stands in two baggies you can use bag full of hands left trigger finger hand and right supporting opposite to what you get straight out of the box two gripping hands for the sword or other things to grip and then two fists so each of them come with all of these hands a wealth of hands First up for comparisons against my chosen poster boys of infinity is Space Marine from Joy Toy Warhammer 40k and this is a Space Wolf Intercessor. Next up is Boba Fett, Tuscan Boba Fett with his helmet on from another Boba Fett I've got before. And this is Bernard or Bernard 
from Acid Rain World. We'll do a video of him soon. A very difficult figure to get hold of. From Joy Toys Infinity, but Ariadna faction, we have the Quick Mirage 5 set with Sergeant Duroc and uh, Lieutenant Margot Berthia. Also from Infinity is a single Marauder, the first from the first wave of Infinity figures that Joy Toy released. A bit more on the sort of realistic looking soldier, but on a cusp of futuristic look. Panoceana Brethren, this is a Noken figure, the uh, male figure. And this is the uh, superior Noken female figure from a Panoceana. Standing in front of the Noken figures with a, a Noken helmet on is Inquisitor Padre Mendoza from Pan Oceana. So all of these guys from the same faction, the first two lots of figures uh, that we've got from Joy Toy, and I think work really well together. In fact, I'd say Pan Ocean is probably my favorite of the Infinity releases so far. So if just take a quick look at some of the color variations. The swords here are a bit different in color. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that, but the blues kind of match, maybe slight difference. But all in all, I think these guys work really well and the Knights Hospitalis in particular, brilliant pack. I will do videos of the other three soon. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Will you be grabbing these or any of Pan Oceana? Click my affiliate links to buy your own joy toy and support the channel. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. For more content, subscribe and I'll scull you later.